At the age of 16, this young girl was sold to a human trafficker by her best friend. Her identity is kept anonymous to protect her from harm. But now, at 25 years old, she lives to tell her story as a survivor. I was brought to a party and I hung out with him and she kind of like introduced me as I was going to hang out with him and date him per se. And after the party was over, I was told I couldn't leave and I was in debt five grand. She says this was the start of a three-year battle to escape. Traffickers lure victims in through social media sites like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. A website called skipthegames.com, Erotic Monkey, um, USA Sex Guide, those are all local to here. It can happen anywhere and to anyone. This heat map reflects the cases reported to the National Human Trafficking Hotline in 2016. The red areas reflect a greater number of cases. They also reported the top five sex trafficking venues with hotels ranking first. They beat you in ways that nobody out there is going to see because your property, your for sale, your their goods, and if they damage their goods, you're not worth nothing. The Florida Department of Children and Families counted about 2,000 reports of human trafficking statewide in 2016 a 54% increase from the previous year. With no real home to turn to, she says behind bars became her safe place. I went to jail several times. I actually called my probation officer and told her, I'm being human trafficked. I am scared for my life. Please help me and violate me and put me in jail. We want to see those who are truly victimized as a, as a function of human trafficking. We want to see them supported. We want to see them emotionally stable. And we want their partnership so that we can hold those predators responsible. She was arrested and introduced to Created Gainesville, an organization that visits jails to help victims through a healing and restoration process. It is very, very difficult for her to be able to heal and to truly get out of the life without having a safe place to go that's long-term care. She now says she looks toward a brighter future. I feel very empowered, empowered now that I did make it through it because not many women make it out alive.